everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I do truly appreciate it. I'm doing the May TBR for me. This is only my second TBR video. The first one went pretty well. I committed, I said I was planning to re try to read six books. I read five in the month of April. So in May, I'm gonna pick up right where I left off and try to read six books. Anyway, I typically will read about an hour a day, something like that, an hour or two minutes, I actually set the alarm for. I don't know. But I am not gonna put on airs. I don't read 40 books a month. I don't read 10 books a month. Four to six is typically where I'm at each month. Four to six books is okay with me. I got no problems with that myself. And I don't really got any problems with what you read either. But this is what I do. Uh, last month, I said I was going to read six books. And I got to all of them except for one. So I read five. I missed out on one. So that one will go at the May Books What Got to be Red Pile. And that one is back on. No offense, Janet Ivanovich or Stephanie Plum. But Finger Licking 15, the Stephanie Plum series. Uh, starting with one for the money. I strongly recommend you read it. It's a lighthearted series. And this plum lady, she, she's a lot of fun. Her family's a lot of fun. Her friends are a lot of fun. Her co-workers are a lot of fun. Her adventures are a lot of fun. It's light stuff. There is this young lady who's divorced. She caught her husband cheating. She lost a job at the tampon factory in Trenton, New Jersey. And now she can't afford to pay her rent. So she kind of blackmails her cousin into giving her a job as a bounty hunter. Okay. She's got no skills. She's got no experience. She's got nothing except the need for money and a willingness to put herself in jeopardy and to make a fool of herself. And that makes for entertaining reading. And uh, so to start the series off, she's chasing after this guy. <sighs> that took her virginity in, in school, sort of. She's chasing after this guy, Joe Morelli, trying to catch him. He's a cop who's wanted for murder and another bounty hunter who helps her. And he's not always for good reasons. He's not always, uh, he doesn't always have the, the best intentions at heart, but he, he helps her to get on her feet, to get started as a bounty hunter to try to just collecting, collecting for a bail bondsman. The people that skip out on their bail. So this other guy, Ranger, he's a one bad dude and he helps her for his own reasons. And she gets into all sorts of adventures. And I'm on finger licking 15, I need to read it. I read a couple of the between the numbers novellas. So I've read more than 14, but I've loved everyone. It's a lot of fun. I started reading this series in 2002. So I'll read a little here, read a little there. And this, it's into the 30s now. I doubt I'll ever get through it all, but I've enjoyed every one. Every time I read another one, I say, man, I love that. I need to read more. And I'm sure that's what's going to happen with Finger Licking 15. So there's that, the Janet Ivanovich book. Um, next up, this one is one that I feel very guilty Every time I say I haven't read this, I feel shame, true shame. Philip Fricasse is a gem in the writing world. One of my absolute favorite authors walking God's green earth is Philip Fricasse. And he's written this short thing called Commodore. And in Commodore, he talks about a place called Sabbath. And I am a Sabbath resident. It's a fictional town. I don't live there. But Philip Fricasse, one of my very favorite authors, Walking God's Green Earth, has a Patreon deal for 2024 in which I am a Patreon subscriber or member or whatever you are when you pledge on Patreon. And I'm a Sabbath resident. That's like top 50. I don't know. I think there's 50 Sabbath residents, something like that. Maybe less. I don't know. I don't keep track of things like this, but I'm one of them. I figured out how to read Commodore, and I will. And this is first up. For the month of May, can't wait. Philip has been great. I've read three of his novels. I've loved every one. 
I strongly recommend you go pick up A Child Alone with Strangers, Gothic, Boys in the Valley. Go pick up those books and read them. They are so good, so fine. And uh, I'm going to read Commodore, and I got more. I've got more in the month of May from Philip Fracassi that I've got to read. But the books are stacked the way they're stacked. And next up is not actually the Philip Fracassi. It would make sense to do those two together, but I'm into making dollars, not making sense. Actually, I'm nothing. <laughs> making nothing here. But uh, I recently bought a small book with four stories in it. One of them had Michael Marshall Smith in it. And it was published by Earthling Publications and Thunderstorm Books. And I did a little unboxing for that. And Paul Miller, owner of Earthling Publications, he said, Hey, you need to get reading on Michael Marshall Smith. You will love it. He's fabulous. Something like that. And he said, I published a collection of books, uh, a collection of short stories for Michael Marshall Smith. I did a book unboxing for this, told you all about it. And uh, I'm going to read it. So this is month of May. This collection called Everything You Need, a horror author, Michael Marshall Smith. I've read one thing of his, and I'm looking forward to reading more, a collection of stories. Now, truth be told, all in, I have in my life read very few short story collections from front to back. I've read short stories, but usually it's pick and choose. I want to read this story about this character. It fits in that whatever. So I go read it or an anthology and there's a story by an author that I liked. So I just read through that story real quick. I've read very few front to back, top to bottom, all the way though through collections. And I've got two this time, two this month on my TBR books, what got to be read pile that are collections that I'm going to read this month. I'm going to break that trend. I'm going to bust that streak or whatever you do. I'm going to read a couple this month. And this one, everything you need, I'm looking forward to. By the way, Paul Miller sent me a signed limited edition of this book telling me I got to read it. Paul Miller at Earthling Publications. And uh, it's kind of neat. This one here is limited to a thousand copies. It is signed by the author, Michael Marshall Smith. It is numbered TB slash 1000. TB. Nice. Nice. And he sent me a cool letter too. You want to read it? There you have it. He sent me a cool letter, which goes in the book. And this goes on the May 2024 books. What got to be read pile. Looking forward to that one as well. And I mentioned Philip Fricasse and here he is on the stack, his latest collection called no one is safe. And this one as a Patreon subscriber to the Fricasse Patreon. This one is an ARC, an advanced reading copy that he sent me of No One Is Safe. And it is also signed by the author. And I always say signed is better. So I'm going to be reading a signed advanced review copy. And it contains quite a few stories in here. I'll just show you the table of contents. That is the table of contents, what is included. And Philip Fracassi one of my very favorite authors. So it is exciting for me. He's got three story collections. I've got all three. I've read mm, almost all of them. I've read all of them, but three so far. And so this one is going to be my first story collection from Philip Fricasse, but that's May, 2025. It's what gots to be read. And uh, let's see, does it tell? Other chilling tales of terror, and I like chilling tales of terror. So, uh, looking forward to it, and I strongly recommend Philip Fracassi. One cool dude. Check out the on the Facebook. There's a group called Fracassi Freaks, and Philip Fracassi is an active participant in the group. He didn't make it himself. Some other cats made this group has fans of Philip Fricasse, and he participates a lot. He's very active, he's a, he's a reader, he's a book collector, he's a writer, he's OCD. One cool dude, check it out. Uh, a couple more here, a couple more. Now this one, as a fan of detective novels, people like Spencer, like Scudder, like Marlowe. There's lots, lots and lots. I have never read 
Rex Stout Nero Wolf. So this is another that I know nothing about. This one is called Fertilance. I do know that Fertilance is a very deadly snake found in Costa Rica and other places like that. My son's, uh, he knows all these things. So I, I, I learn things that I don't always intend to learn. Fertilance is the first Nero Wolf book by Rex Stout. And just at a glance, it says, as any herpetologist will tell you, the Fertilance is among the most dreaded snakes known to man. Herpetologist, inside information here. When I was uh, 11, 10, I told my dad I want to be a herpetologist. And he said, do you know what that means, son? And I said, yeah, it's a scientist who studies reptiles and amphibians. And he said, oh, that's not what I thought you were going to say. My dad learned something from me, and I've learned some things from my son. I think it's neat when sons teach their dads things. Anyway, sometimes it works out that way. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to a new world, a new character, maybe something that I can get into. If you've got any other detective stories, noir stories, things like that that you really dig, characters that you really like, give me a clue. Give me a hint. Chat me up, if you will. Give a... Give a do the kid a fiva and make some recommendations for me because I really dig this stuff and I'm really looking forward to getting in to a new series, a new character. One more. I got one more, one more that I want to talk about in the plans for the month of May, and that is Bradbury. It's Bradbury season. All seasons are Bradbury season. <laughs> but... This one is another collection, the Illustrated Man, the Grandmaster Editions, the Illustrated Man. And I've got a neat signed limited edition of this from Gauntlet, signed by the author himself, Ray Bradbury. Brad, I can't say Bradbury for some reason. Signed by him, so it's cool. And I thought at first, the Illustrated Man, hey, I read Something Wicked This Way Comes, so I know the Illustrated Man turns out from what they say it's not the same thing but it's a collection of short stories based on my guy's tattoos and i love bradbury i've loved everything i've read from bradbury and i'm looking forward to reading this collection of short stories kind of tied together by a common link so it's really cool really neat and uh, i'm looking forward to it looking forward to all of it so that is what I intend to read in the month of May. When June comes along, we'll see how well I stuck to the plan. Wish me luck, y'all. I do need it. Anyway, if you don't mind, how about subscribing to the channel too? Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Man, it gives the kids something to ask about. How many subscribers do you have now? They ask that question. And when the number's bigger, it's kind of a cool, hey, somebody else said that your dad is not as lame as he could be. And they may even consider possibly watching a video with him in it again sometime down the road. So subscriptions are neat. I can think of no more lies to tell. So thank you for your time. I do truly appreciate it. And say la vie, baby. Do -do. Watch out for those fertile ants. Watch out for those rattlesnakes. Mm. Mm.